hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you see my face for the first time my name is victoria and i'm a nigerian youtuber based in italy and today guys as you see my face i'm not smiling i'm not happy i want to talk about um the death of um our beautiful sister Osinachi. i know most of you might have um, heard about the story so um, i just want to share my opinion about what is happening and um, feel free to join me if you enjoy content like this and um, let's just dive into the video guys and um, yeah guys So guys, I just want to use this opportunity to um, thank all my returning subscribers, all my members and um, all my family that have been supporting my channel. I just want to say a big thank you to you all. I see the way you support my channel. I see the way you... Um, I see the way you always share my videos and um, I really do appreciate it a lot. I really do, honestly. I might not say this every time, but I really do appreciate you guys, all of you. Thank you so much. And for those of you that are yet to join my member, we have the button there. Just click on the button and um, feel free to join my member. If that's what God have already put in your mind to join my membership. Guys, I have an injury here. I retouched it. I retouched when I retouched my hair, so the realize I just want me okay. Ignore this, okay? So, guys, as you guys know, a lot of things have been happening around last weekend. Yes, what I want to talk about is about the minister that died, uh, Minister Osinachi. Most of you have heard about it, and I'm not really happy about this, guys. You guys know I talk about relationships, I talk about marriage, and all that. And domestic violence is one thing. To me, I just feel that it's a no, no, no in a relationship. Say no to domestic violence. It is not a good thing at all. I just don't know. I don't know what to say. What is really happening to us women? Women, who did this to us? I keep asking this question. Why will you be in a marriage where the man is beating you, where the man is hitting you, where the man is, is treating you bad? Why are you still there? What is what is making you to stay in that marriage? Because I see no reason why you are still there. I see no reason why you are still there. For a man to beat you, even when you are pregnant, he beats you, he throw you out. Guys, it's not something. It's, it's, it's not something that I, I don't really know how to put this. I'm not really happy. I'm not. What is really happening to us? And I know that now everything is happening. We still have a lot of women out there. They are still hiding. They are still making excuses for this man. Why must you be the one to always protect him? Why must you be the one to always make excuses for him and say, "Oh, this, oh that"? Why? You see one thing about marriage marriage is a very beautiful thing when you find the right person but marriage is not a do or die something if you find out that he's beating you if you find out that he's abusing you verbally he's you find out that he's abusing you emotionally and you are not happy with it see leave for your sake for your sanity women i'm talking to women now because i don't know why a man that call himself your husband a man that said he loves you he came to pay your bride price he's beating you he's insulting you he's saying all, all sort of things about you and you are still there is it by force to get married women is it by force i'm supposed to have to have made this video before now but you guys know my weekend is or i'm always busy weekends i don't have time that's why i said let me make this um, video if you notice i'm in the bus station waiting for my bus i said let me run and make this and i get home and i'll start doing a lot of things what is really happening to us women what is really happening to us why must you be in a relationship where he talks to you here no respect for you no and most of these women before they even got married, their parents don't beat them. Now you went to marry her and you are treating her bad. I don't just know. Why must you even be jealous of what your wife is, is earning on? Why, as a man, if your wife is doing well, it's a plus to you. It's a plus to you. As a woman, if your husband is doing well, it's a plus to you. You should be happy. You should support her. Not beating her, not insulting her, not making her not to have friends. I don't 
don't know a lot of things that is happening now i said it on my last video that a whole lot of things are, hap are happening i still blame those people she 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 confided on she told some people now she's there all of you are coming out with received coming out with messages why did you not say something and i saw a message when someone said i didn't know he's up to like this i don't know i didn't know that it has gotten to this point of killing her if not i would have said some really really for the fact you know that she disrespected this woman for the fact you know that she used to she used to beat this woman you would have come up and said something we have a lot of vloggers we have we have a lot of bloggers you are, we have a lot of people you can you can you can dm you can tell them this if you want them to hide your name they can hide your name you can tell them please save this minister Osinachi. she's not happy in her marriage the man is beating her please but i don't want my name to be out you can say it to save her life mother of four children now those children are motherless hey eh? now to our men hmm? i don't know what to say we still have great and good men out there not every man will want to raise their hand on their wife for those ones that raise if you know you are watching me and you used to beat your wife i pity for you go and ask her for forgiveness if you have ever beat your wife if you have ever beaten your wife before if you if you are the one that you you you, you talk to her you you make her feel bad hmm. go and apologize to her tell her you are sorry apologize to her tell her you are sorry and if you are still in a relationship or in a marriage where your husband is beating you you are still there making excuses please leave i i said it leave that marriage because at the end of the day eh, it is better to leave your marriage than everybody will not be telling you are, are, are IP? you are dead I've seen a lot of women that left their marriages, abusive marriages, and today they are doing well with their children. A whole lot of people are saying, if you are following this uh, this um, page on Facebook Live, women are coming out and they are saying a lot of things. They left and today they are giving glory to God that they did not die. Women, if you are in a relationship where you are not happy, the man is beating you, the man is, 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 is abusing you emotionally, verbally, leave leave and find your peace your peace is important you see this peace of mind is important. you cannot be in a marriage when immediately you hear that the man is already pressing bell the man is coming back home your mind will fly you'll be like hey i don't know what i'm going to do i don't know guys i'm not really happy with what i'm hearing like i couldn't sleep last night i was like oh my god please if you have a friend if you have a sister that is in a marriage where the husband is beating her your husband is abusing her you are covering for her it's of you to come out now and talk come out now and talk say that your sister has lied hashtag save your sister say no to domestic violence don't come here and start telling us when she's already dead and say she told you this she confided in you and now let's talk about those who would have said oh should have come out should have left the marriage assuming she left that marriage now i'm sure a lot of people in church will say oh how can a how can a gospel um, artist how can she leave a marriage how can she do this they, they, they will still criticize her they will still say a sort a lot of things about her even our church might even put her in but give her back seat but for me i don't care before you think about what people will say think about saving your life first because your life is very very important your life is important to me your life is so precious to me i might not know you that marriage is not worth it at all a marriage where the man will beat you talk to you anyhow the man will, 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 will. i just don't know what to say guys i am angry i felt like i just don't know guys please say no to domestic violence to our mothers out there how are we raising our sons how are we raising our daughters because this domestic violence it is not only the women that suffer men too suffer it in marriages 
We have had a lot of stories where you say, where you will see that a woman is beating her husband. It is not only the, it's, not, it's, it's vice versa, eh? So now I'm not talking to, I'm not talking for only the women, even the man. If you're in an abusive relationship, the man is beating you, the woman is beating you in your marriage, leave that marriage. That marriage is not worth it at all. Your peace of mind is important. Your sanity is important. Please leave that marriage and save yourself all this stress. Why will you be in a marriage when you're not happy? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You are there making excuses for him. You are there making excuses for her. At the end of the day, they will, he or she will end your life and you and they will not say, ah, oh. mothers, parents, please, how are you training your boys? How are you training your girls? How are you training your children? Are you training them to grow up to beat their wives? Are you training them to grow up to beat their husband? Is it what you are training them? Even the Bible says, train your child in the way of the Lord. How are you training your children? Because at the end of the day, they are watching you. They are seeing the way you are training them. Train them in the right way. Even if your child or your son or your daughter, they are going in the wrong path, draw them back and say, no, my son, my daughter, that road is not the best road to take. Take this road. Guys, I'm not happy. I just came here, I don't know if it's a ranting video, I just came here to say this. Say no to domestic violence. Emotional abuse, say no to it. Verbal abuse, say no to it. It's a no, no, no for me, guys. It's a no, no, no for me, guys. This woman is dead now. Everybody's coming and they are saying, eh, she told them, she, when she told you, what did you do? She confided in you. She, she might not, she might not have that. She might not have, she might not have that mind. She might not have, have that, that strength to come up and say, say this about her husband. She confided in you for, for help. She, she need help. That, that thing she came to meet you is a cry for help. She might tell you, please don't say anything, but she need you to help her. For her to come up to say something, she has been taking it for a very long time and she know, say no, let me confide in this person. Maybe this person will help you. A lot of people are coming. I, she, she, she. I don't have anything to say, guys. I believe I've been able to say a lot of things on this video. Please, let's continue this conversation down below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Kindly share this video and um, stop beating your wife. Stop beating your husband. It's not a good thing. That's all I have to say. Please, marriage is a good thing. It's a sweet thing. This marriage eh? <sighs> is very sweet if you find the right person. And if you if you if you finally end up with the wrong person, leave. Because that person is not worth your strength. That person is not worth your cry. Go for the for, for the sake of your I, I believe I've been able to say enough, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let's continue this conversation down below i enjoy reading your comments okay guys let me know if you enjoyed this video and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video like i used to say guys remain in god and god bless you guys ciao tutti alla prossima